Bonjour, this is Learn French with Frida B. Avenue. Today we are going to be learning about a l'école. A l'école means at school. So it's a full lesson about my school, activities in school and all that. On the first section, we are going to be naming days of the week in French. And of course, we will have a short practice about that in order to see whether you have mastered the days of the week in French. On the second section, we are going to name different places in a school. And of course, we will also form sentences about the different places in a school in French. On the third section, we are going to name different subjects in French. The subjects that we learn in school like science, English, French. And then we will form sentences to describe the subjects that we like and subjects that we don't like. And also to describe the subjects that we learn on which days of the week. And on the fourth section, and should be the last section, we are going to name different items found in a classroom in French. And we will, of course, form sentences about them. And in the last part, we are going to conclude the lesson by doing different activities to practice what we have been learning about. We will have word puzzles, we'll listen to someone talking about their school activities, and I'll also give you a chance to talk about your own experience in school. Bienvenue. On this first section, we are going to name the days of the week in French, starting from Monday to Sunday. Monday in French is lundi. Lundi. Please remember to repeat after me. Monday, lundi. Tuesday, mardi. Mardi. Wednesday, mercredi. Mer Credi. Thursday, jeudi. Jeudi. Friday is vendredi. Vendredi. Saturday, samedi. Samedi. And Sunday is dimanche. Dimanche. Let's name them one more time. Lundi, mardi, mercredi, jeudi, vendredi, samedi, dimanche. Well done. I hope you repeated after me. And now you already know the pronunciation. Let me ask you a question. What is Thursday in French? Thursday? Jeudi, correct. Well done. What is Saturday? Saturday? Samedi, correct. Now, a week, we call it Yun Somen. Yun Somen. And it has the weekdays, and the weekend. The weekend is called Lo Weekend. Lo Weekend. And of course, we have five days of the week that come on the weekdays and the two days that come on Lo Weekend. Lo Weekend are Do Jour. Lesquels? The weekend has two days. Which ones? Name them in French. And mm -hmm. samedi et dimanche, correct. A is and. Which days do you like? Name two days that you really like. You start your sentence with j'aime. For me, I'll say j'aime le vendredi et le weekend. I know those are already three days because le weekend are deux jours. Samedi et dimanche. Moi, j'aime le vendredi, le samedi et le dimanche. Et toi, quel jour est-ce que tu aimes? Which days do you like? Name them in French. I'll give you two seconds. 
And now that you have named them, please proceed and write them in the comments section below. I would like to know which days you like. And of course, you have your own reason. If you can include your reason there, the better. If it's not possible, then it's okay. All right, so finish writing those days on the comments section. Remember, you're writing them in French, not in English. Très bien. I hope you have finished. Let's try to form some sentences using the days of the week. I go to school on Monday and Tuesday. I go to school on Monday and Tuesday. I go in French is je vais. So you will say je vais à l'école le lundi et le mardi. I go to school on Monday and Tuesday will be je vais à l'école le lundi et le mardi. The second sentence, I go to church on Sundays. I go to church on Sundays. That will be, je vais à l'église le dimanche. Je vais à l'église le dimanche. Our third sentence, I don't go to school on Saturday and Sundays. I don't go to school on Saturdays and on Sundays. That will be, je ne vais pas à l'école le samedi et le dimanche. Je ne vais pas à l'école le samedi et le dimanche. Now, what if you want to say, today is Saturday? Today is Saturday. Today in French is aujourd'hui. Please repeat after me. Aujourd'hui. 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 Well done. If you want to say today is Saturday, you will say aujourd'hui c'est samedi. Aujourd'hui c'est samedi. Today is Saturday. And what if you want to say the number of the days of the week that we have? Let's try and count 1 to 10. We did that earlier. 1 to 10 in French quickly. 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7, 8, 9, 10. Ah, you remembered them? Okay, count one more time on your own now. Set. I hope you remembered how to count one to ten in French. If you didn't remember, check out that video. It has the numbers. 1 to 10 in French. 1 to 20 actually, but practice 1 to 10 for this lesson so that you can answer the question, how many days are there in a week? Il y a combien jours de la semaine? Il y a combien jours de la semaine? 5, 7, 9. What's the answer? Write it down in the comment section. I want to see whether you got it right. Choose from the three options there. Mm -hmm. Okay, so let me give you the answer. If you chose sunk, ce n'est pas correct. That's not correct. If you chose set, ça c'est correct. That's correct. And if you chose nef, ce n'est pas correct. So your answer will be, il y a sept jours de la semaine. Il y a sept jours 
de la semaine. Il y a, there are seven days in a week. There are seven days in a week. Well done for that practice. I hope it helped you remember how to count one to ten in French. Let's proceed. And the last activity will be a quiz on how to spell the days of the week in French. I have jumbled up words over there. You can see them. Now try and spell those four days of the week correctly. So try and spell them correctly. They are jumbled up as you can see. The first one, the second one, the third one, and the fourth one. Can I give you a hint? No, try first. Try writing them down, the correct spelling. Remember, we are checking the spelling of those days of the week in French. I'm giving you time to write them down. The first one, the second one, the third one, the fourth one. Are you stuck? I hope not. Okay, so I hope you have finished writing them with the correct spelling. Now, here are the answers. The first one is Mahdi. This is how we write Mahdi. The second one is Jodi. This is how we write Jodi. The third one is Samdi. This is how we write Samdi. And the fourth one is Dimanche. This is how we write Dimanche. Did you get any day wrong? I hope not. Did you get all of them correct? If you got all of them correct, tick for yourself and give yourself a big smiley face. If there is any correction that you need to make, please make it right now so that you can remember next time. Go back to check out the spelling of those days of the week in French. Let's now proceed to the next section of this lesson. We are going to be naming different places in a school in French. The different places in a school in French. The first one is a classroom, the most common one. Classroom, la salle de classe. La salle de classe. Library, la bibliothèque. La bibliothèque. I hope you're repeating after me in order to get the correct pronunciation. The next one is the swimming pool. La piscine. La piscine. The office, the head teacher's office, the deputy head teacher's office, the reception office, all those offices, the office is called le bureau. Lo bureau. The staff room. La salle de professeur. La salle de professeur. Music room. La salle de music. La salle de music. Art room. La salle d'art. La salle d'art. The kitchen, la cuisine. La cuisine. And lastly, for today, is the dining hall. La salle à manger. La salle à manger. Did you get to hear the pronunciation? Were you able to repeat after me? Okay, let's do a check. How do we call the swimming pool in French? The swimming pool? La piscine. Okay. 
How do we call the dining hall? The dining hall? La salle à manger. Correct? How do we call the classroom in French? La salle de classe. Well done. Staff room? La salle de professeur. Uh -huh. If you want to see a full video that I did about different places in our school, the link is up there. You can click on it and learn more about different places in our school in French. Let's now try and form sentences using those different places in our school in French. One, I go to the dining hall every day. I go to the dining hall every day. That will be, je vais à la salle à manger tous les jours. Je vais à la salle à manger tous les jours. Our second sentence is, we go to the swimming pool on Fridays. We go to the swimming pool on Fridays. That will be, nous allons à la piscine le vendredi. Nous allons à la piscine le vendredi. Uh -huh. The next sentence is, I love my classroom. I love my classroom. J'adore ma salle de classe. J'adore ma salle de classe. And the last sentence, the teacher is in the music room. The teacher is in the music room. Le professeur est dans la salle de musique. Le professeur est dans la salle de musique. All right, try and form this sentence on your own. I will give you two seconds to just think about it. The sentence is, we go to the library on Tuesdays and on Thursdays. We go to the library on Tuesdays and on Thursdays. How do we form that sentence in French? I'll give you a hint. We go is nous allons. Uh -huh. Now form it on your own. You can write it on the comment section so that I can see whether we are together. Mm -hmm. I can see the first answer there. Someone else has answered. Okay, so we say, nous allons à la bibliothèque le mardi et le jeudi. Uh -huh. Le mardi et le jeudi. Thursdays, jeudi. Don't forget. All right, well done for that practice. Now let's proceed to the next section of this lesson. On this section, we are going to be naming the different subjects that we learn in school in French. And then we will, of course, form sentences using them. The first one is French. French is called le français. Répétez après moi, le français. English is called l'anglais. L'anglais. Kiswahili, lo swahili, lo swahili. Science, les chions, les chions. Mathematics, les mathématiques, les mathématiques. We also call it les maths, les maths. History is called l'histoire. L'histoire. Geography is called la géographie. La géographie. Music is called la musique. 
la musique. And sport, les sports. Les sports. Did you master the pronunciation of those words? Let's do a check. How do we call science in French? Science. Les chions. Well done. How do we call mathematics in French? It has two names, the long name and the short name. Mm -hmm. Les mathématiques, also called les maths. Très bien. How do we call French? French. Le français. Well, well done. And how do we call English? L'anglais. Correct. L'anglais. And the last check, geography. La. La géographie. Aha. Uh -huh. La géographie. Someone was saying la géographie. No. Géo. There is an accent there. La géographie. Well, well done for attempting that check. It's very important for us to know how to pronounce those words correctly in French. Let's go now to the sentences. Jolie loves sports. Jolie loves sports will be Jolie adore les sports. Jolie adore les sports. Molly likes French. Molly aime le français. Molly aime le français. I don't like science. I don't like science. Je n'aime pas les chiens. Je n'aime pas les chiens. I love music. I love music is j'adore la musique. J'adore la musique. I like geography. Hmm. I like geography is j'aime la géographie. J'aime la géographie. And the last sentence is she likes mathematics. She likes mathematics. That will be elle aime les maths. Elle aime les maths. Or, elle aime les mathématiques. You can use the full name. Elle aime les mathématiques. Now, try and form this sentence on your own. I love history. I love history. Try and form that sentence in French. How do we say I love? How do we say history? J'adore l'histoire. Très bien, très bien. If you got it right, j'adore l'histoire. Try and form this other one on your own. She likes English. She likes English. She is L. So how do we write that sentence in French? L M Longley. Correct. L M Longley. Très bien. Let's now try and form this sentence also. On Mondays, I have sports and science. On Mondays, I have sports and science. That will be Lolandi J les sports et les chiens. Lolandi, j'ai les sports et les chiens. The next sentence is, on Friday, I have French. On Friday, I have French. That will be, le vendredi, j'ai le français. Le vendredi, j'ai le français. Très bien. 
one more that you're going to form on your own. First of all, which is your favorite subject? Which is your favorite subject? If it's English, form a sentence telling us the day that you have English. Or any other subject, tell us the day that you have that subject in a French sentence. Mm -hmm. I'll give you two seconds to do that. Okay, think about it. Okay, so I'm waiting to see those sentences on the comments section below. Let's proceed to the last section where we will be naming different items found in a classroom in French. I also did a lesson about different items found in a classroom. It's up there. Click on it and see different items found in a classroom in French. But for this lesson, we're just going to name a few and then we practice form sentences using them. The first item is the board. The board that the teacher writes on, it's called Lo Tableau. Lo Tableau. If it's the white board, it's called Lo Tableau Blanc. And if it's the black board, it's called Lo Tableau Noir. The next item is the book. The exercise book is called Lo Cahier. Remember to repeat after me. Repete après moi. The exercise book, Lo Cahier. Lo Cahier. And the textbook is called Lo Livre. Lo Livre. The pencil is called Lo Crayon. Lo Crayon. The pen is called Lo Stilo. Lo Stilo. The rubber is called la gomme. La gomme. The ruler is called la règle. La règle. The porch where you put your pencils, your rubber, the pencil porch is called la trousse. La trousse. And the last one is the bag. The school bag is called lo sac. Lo sac. If it's a backpack, it's called lo sac a dos. Lo sac a dos. Let's try and check whether you got the pronunciation correct. The first check is the exercise book. How do we call the exercise book in French? Lo cahier. Uh -huh. How do we call the rubber? La gomme. Mm -hmm. How do we call the backpack? The backpack? Lo sac a dos. Uh -huh. How do we call the pencil? The pencil? Lo crayon. How about the pen? The pen? Lo stilo. And do you remember the spelling? There it is, lo stilo. Well done. Let's go directly to forming sentences using these items. The first sentence is, in my bag, there are two exercise books. In my bag, there are two exercise books. Dans mon sac, il y a deux cahiers. Dans mon sac, Il y a do caille. Mm -hmm. The next sentence is In my porch, there are five pencils. In my porch, there are five pencils. That will be Dans ma trousse, il y a cinq crayons. Dans ma trousse, il y a cinq crayons. The next sentence In my backpack, there are three textbooks and a ruler. In my backpack, there are three textbooks and a ruler. That will be, dans mon sac à dos, 
il y a trois livres et une règle. Dans mon sac à dos, il y a trois livres et une règle. A means and. All right. The next sentence is She has two pencils. She has two pencils. That will be Elle a do crayon. Elle a do crayon. And the last sentence is My friend Molly has two porches. My friend Molly has two porches. That will be Mon ami Molly a do trous. Mon ami Molly a do trous. Now, from these two sentences on your own. The first sentence is I have a bag. I have a bag. Mm -hmm. That will be j'ai un sac. Très bien. J'ai un sac. The second sentence that I want you to form is In my bag, there is a textbook, an exercise book, and a pencil pouch. Form that sentence on your own. And write it down on the comment section below. I want to see how you formed it. In my bag, there is a textbook, an exercise book, and a pencil pouch. Let me give you two seconds to write that down on the comments section below. All right. Did you form it? How was it? Let me check and I'll give you feedback on whether it's correct or not correct. All right, so that's the last section of this lesson. Before we finish, we will do a recap of what we have been learning today. The topic is a l'école. A l'école. At the school. We started by naming the different days of the week in French so that we can tell the days that you go to school and the days that you don't go to school. We named them as lundi, mardi, mercredi, jeudi, vendredi, samedi, et dimanche. On the second section, we named different places in a school and we formed sentences about them in French. For example, the library, la bibliothèque, the classroom, la salle de classe, the office, le bureau, the staff room, la salle de professeur, and the dining hall, la salle à manger. We named many others. I'm just going through a few. And we also formed sentences about them. On the third section, we named the different subjects that we learn in school in French. And we also formed sentences. For example, we have French, Le français, history, l'histoire, English, l'anglais, geography, la géographie, music, la musique, and mathematics, les mathématiques. And on the fourth section, we have named the different items found in a classroom in French. And we have also formed sentences using them. For example, the blackboard, le tableau noir, the exercise book, le cahier, the ruler, la règle, the rubber, la gomme, and the pen, le stylo. Well done. Thank you for joining us today as we have been learning about at the school. At this point, I want to give you some work that you're going to work on at home. The first one, I would like you to translate these sentences to French. Please write them down. The first one is, today is Saturday. How do we say that in French? 
The second sentence is, I love mathematics. I love mathematics. How do we say that in French? The third sentence is, I go to the library on Fridays. I go to the library on Fridays. Write that in French. The fourth sentence is, I have French and mathematics on Monday morning. I have French and mathematics on Monday morning. And the fifth sentence that you're going to translate to French is, In my bag, there is a pencil pouch, a textbook, and a ruler. In my bag, there is a pencil pouch, a textbook, and a ruler. How do you say that in French? Please translate those sentences and let me know how you find that exercise in the comment section below. If you need any help, reach out to me. My email as usual, frenchwithfrida at gmail.com. It's written down there. Please let me know. If you have successfully translated them, you can actually send them to me on my email so that I can give you feedback. I will be glad to do that. The next activity is a word puzzle. I want you to look at this word puzzle and fill it in with the different names of the days of the week in French. For example, Landy, you can see where it goes to. All those days of the week, the seven of them, fill them in. That word puzzle, you can draw it or you can just try and fill it in Take a picture and also send it to my email or on the comment section so that I can see the progress and give you the feedback. Okay, so there goes the word puzzle. You can pause actually and try and fill them in one at a time. Take your time and let me know how you find that exercise also in the comment section below. That's it for today. How did you find the lesson? Let me know how you found the lesson today. We have been learning about a lecole and different things about a school. This is Learn French with Frida. Please keep tuned for such and many more interesting lessons with me. Subscribe to my channel if you have not yet subscribed. Like the video and share with your network so that other people can also learn these lessons. Over for now, see you in the next video.